What's going on guys, Sachi is here and welcome to another World Cup quarter final squad builder on my channel today. And obviously I did Brazil versus Colombia yesterday and today I'm going to be doing Germany versus France. Um, so this will be uploaded just a few hours before kickoff. I realised it was the earlier of the two games. So that's why I'm going to be uploading this much, much earlier. This is a very, very nice team. I went with 4-1-2-1-2 again because of chemistry reasons. And I did end up getting, I think it was like 94 chemistry, which is near enough to 100. And it really does play like a 100 chem team. So firstly, in the goalkeeper position, we obviously do have Neuer. He has an uh, international man of match card, but it goes for like over 300k. And it's only 87 rated. It's only one rating up so i thought i'll just stick with his normal version um he's pretty solid anyways he's probably the second best keeper for me in the game after check moving on to the first center back and that is boteng um i could have went with someone like uh second in form hummels or even man in the match boteng but like i said with neuer his normal cards is very very good and boteng's normal card is very very good so i thought i would just go with that and put the shadow chemistry style on and again, he's always impressive. Moving on to the right back for Germany, and that is Lahm again. Could have used his inform, but I didn't really have the coins to buy his inform. It's very expensive. So I just went with his normal version. Very solid defensively, that's what I have to say about Lahm. Moving on to the left side of the defence. Now we switch back to France right here. And there we go, inform Koscielny. Probably the second or third best player in this team. He is a rock at the heart of the defence. And his tackling is unreal the best tackler i have used um on the ultimate team i'm not gonna lie the amount of slide tackles he wins it's just ridiculous and his partner well his other french compatriot at the left back position is ever quite you know not great defensively he's good going forward but in real life like i said he's, he's not good defensively and he's not good defensively here really so i'll probably say he was one of the weaker players of the team Moving into the midfield, and we stick with France again. We've got international man of the match, Matuidi. I love this guy. I love this guy. Um, in the squad builder for France, he was really, really good. And in front of that back four, he does an absolutely brilliant job with those high, high work rates. Not ideal, I guess, but he's he just he's everywhere. He gets forward, he tracks back, he does everything pretty much. Moving to the left mid, and another player that I really love is team of the season Griezmann. Not as effective as his left wing version, but um, he still was pretty good in linking up with the striker and the midfield, um, where the centre midfielders, and he did get two goals. The Cam is the favourite player of this team, my favourite player of this team. International man of the match Pogba, fantastic. As a Cam, he is the perfect Cam. I literally have not played with a better cam the amount of goals he scores seven goals he got nine assists 10 games that is fantastic for a cam his long shots are out this world i score i think two or three goals outside the box with him fantastic so moving to the right midfield and we switch back to germany here we go we got inform Scherler. actually quite good i like him i like his uh, right mids in form better than his left mid uh, standard card he just seems to play a lot better on the right mid did get one goal four assists quite solid and moving to the two strikers now firstly we have international man of match muller who i don't like at striker if you play him at maybe cam or center forward he would be better i was intending to play him at cam but that would have reduced the chemistry overall and there really isn't a good uh, german striker on ultimate team apart from gomez but he's obviously not at the world cup so he cost me 245k, six goals, two assists. You know, his goals is pretty good, but I just struggle to play with him. He doesn't really have great pace, 84 pace, but his acceleration is bad. And finally, we have probably the second best player in this team. We go back to France, and that is international man of the match, Benzema. Four international man of the matches in this team, two in forms and one um, team of the season. Benzema again, nine goals, two assists, a deadly, deadly finisher. Him and Pogba are fantastic together. If you're going to make like a French team, play Pogba at Cam and play Benzema up front there because they absolutely work fantastically. And I've got to say, Muller's finishing is very, very good, but apart from that, he was a bit disappointing. So, as you just saw, the team does actually have 99 chemistry once you play 10 games, which is pretty 
much a hundred chem, right? So you could kind of call it a hybrid. Um, as ninety four anyway, even if you haven't played any matches with it. So you know, it's near near enough to hundred chem. You know, half the teams is on ten chem, and actually Pogba actually only has seven chem, and he was the best player in the team by a mile. So imagine him on ten chem. I actually found no weaknesses with Pogba as well. He's he's strong. He's pretty fast for a cam. Um, his finishing, his dribbling, his passing, just su sublime, really. And he also gets back and defends a bit. So, literally, he is the best green card that I've used. I can't find uh, any other green card that I've used so far that is even close to him. Um, so, for sure, I'm going to make a Serie A team around his team of the season cards and play with that because I'm thinking that I can do pretty well with that. Benzema, he's just an absolute brilliant finisher. Um, I wouldn't say much more than that. He's, you know, he works well with uh, with the players around him like Griezmann and um, Pogba. But his finishing is fantastic. Muller, I would say the same. He's very good at finishing, but he his position isn't great, and he hasn't got you know great pace, so he doesn't really make uh, runs behind the defence. So I kind of have to hold the ball up with him a lot. Um, but he was also on 7 chem, so maybe if he's on 10 chem, he'd probably perform better. And finally, um, international man of the match, Matuidi. He is a rock as a CDM, pretty much. He's up and down the pitch. He's very strong. He's good at tackling. He's always good at like breaking up the play. He isn't like tall. He isn't great at heading. But for sure, he gets around the pitch very well. Um, someone like Gustavo, I would compare him to. Both very, very good players. So that is it for this squad builder, guys. I do hope you enjoyed watching. I do hope you enjoyed some of these goals. You know, some of these goals from outside the box with Pogba and Griezmann were very, very nice goals. And just to let you know, it does cost about 1.3 million. So if you do have the coins and try it out, if not, use their normal versions because I'm pretty sure they will still do good. So thank you for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.